Hey guys, Science1324 here. Um, I've just been messing around a little bit today and I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this. So this is a uh, lens out of a CD drive, if I can focus on it. Oh, come on, you stinking thing, focus. So what I have it hooked up to is a audio cable that goes into my computer with a frequency generator on it. And so right now I have it at one hertz. And that's on a sine wave. If I put it onto a square wave, it kind of jumps a little bit. <laughs> if we do a sine wave, if I turn it up a little bit, let's do 2 hertz. That's 2 hertz, so it's a little faster. What if we jump up to 10 hertz? A little faster if we do a square wave. It's... I can't do that, though. It starts vibrating itself off the table. <laughs> But yeah, and then another cool thing about this, oh look, we can do sawtooth wave and a triangle wave. Let's do it a little slower so we can actually see what it's doing here. So let's do 5 hertz. Cut that in half. That's a little fast. Let's do 3 hertz. There we go. So that's the triangle versus the sine. Sine's a little bit smoother. Triangle's kind of sharp, it's just like dink, 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 dink. Uh, sawtooth. <laughs> Smooth on the up, but then the down, it just drops. And if we do a square wave, just up and down, and then the sine wave is a cool one, which is like, you, you, you. Of course, that and the triangle wave are very similar, as you can see. There's a triangle, sine wave, triangle. Very similar. Sawtooth is kind of fun. You, 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 you. If we slow it down even more, let's just go back to 1 hertz here. You can see it slowly come up and then just drop. It's a sawtooth wave for you. Um, this is what it looks like. See it goes up and then just drops just like what this is doing. And if we do the triangle wave, like that, sine wave, kind of similar. Square wave just a Dirt, 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 dirt. Anyways, um, there was one other cool thing I wanted to show you. Um, since it is connected to the audio port, you can actually make this thing play music. <laughs> so, let me play, let's play a song here. I don't know, it'll probably be kind of hard to hear because it's kind of quiet. Let's see. If I get you close enough. You can kind of see it moving. No, don't unfocus. Now you're just getting worse. Autofocus. I don't know what its problem is. There we go. Oh, there it goes. We got some bass. Um, one thing we can do, though, is if we stick it on something that'll act like a diaphragm. So, like, we actually have a speaker here. So, if we sit on top of the speaker. Well, that doesn't help at all. What about paper? Let's try this. I don't know if you can hear that. It's kind of hard to hear. Let me try... let's try this here. Jeez, that's quiet. Um, here, let me stick the microphone like right up to it. Hopefully you could hear that, but yeah, all that all that is, is just the uh, lens out of a CD drive, so you can't actually make a speaker out of it, believe it or not. But anyway, I just thought you guys might find that a little bit interesting, so thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, and those of you that have, thank you. You guys are awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.